This is pretty ridiculous to me. I have less than 100 gigs in my one terabyte drive, less than 500 gigs in my three terabyte drive. I don't know how or why. For instance, I'll just go to my C drive and you know, I couldn't really tell you what is taking up storage. I could assume that I probably have some games installed on this drive and maybe some programs, but I don't really know what's taking up all that space. And sure, we could go ahead and, you know, manually review all these folders, see how much storage they're taking up and clear up storage that way. But that is a pain. Let's be real. Instead, we'll be utilizing a program called Tree Size. Pretty much, it'll let us manage our storage a lot better than we're already doing. Definitely be sure to stick around in order to see how you can better manage your storage. All right, so we are on the download page here of the program. This will be in the description, so make sure to check that out. First thing we see here, want to know where your disk space has gone. And yes, we do. We want to know that. Um, as you can see, there are actually different additions. So we'll go on the additions tab just to quickly showcase what each version offers. Here are the things we can do. We can filter scan results according to different criteria, information right down to the file level, which is pretty cool. Scan all directories independent of owner permissions and scan network drives slash locally synchronized cloud drive. So Pretty cool, pretty good for a free version, I'd say. And feel free to check out the paid versions. Looks like they have a free trial for them and go ahead and check out what they have to offer. But of course, we are using the free version, so we'll hit free download. Then it'll prompt us to select how we want to download the program. We are going to go with the installer. All right, so we got the installer here on our desktop. We're just gonna go ahead and run that, select our language, accept the agreement, yada, yada, yada. And we will launch tree size free now. Now, upon running the program, it will prompt you with a message stating that you are not running as admin, which essentially prevents folders and other files from being scanned. I always restart as administrator, but if you don't feel comfortable doing that, then bear in mind, you are not going to be scanning everything. All right, so here we are in the program. It's finally opened. And first thing we're gonna do is change this horrendous light mode. Uh, we'll head over to options, user interface, and we can select detect automatically, I guess, because I already have dark mode enabled. All right, now let's just quickly go over what we see on our screen here. So right now, tree size has scanned our C drive. It is breaking down all the details, the, the size, the allocated amount, the files, number of folders, the percentage that it's taking up of the C drive, and the last date that this folder was modified. We'd also get some more details on our folder by simply hovering over it. And as you can see, it just provides a little bit more information. Now, this is only the C drive. What about all my other drives? It doesn't display all the drives at once. If we want to see the other drives. We're going to hit select directory and then drives. We can select whichever one we want. I'm going to focus on drive D. All right, now that it's finally loaded, we can take a better look at where all our storage is going. So right off the bat, first thing I notice is that shadow play is taking up 26% of my three terabyte hard drive. For those that are not familiar with Shadowplay, it is just a screen recording program built by NVIDIA. So I did use it a lot at one point. And the thing with Shadowplay is that you can set up a key bind to clip certain moments of a video game automatically. I guess I have been doing that without really keeping in mind the amount of storage it's taking up. This is clearly a problem. So I'm gonna expand the folder and see further into where all my storage is going. 335 gigabytes worth of video footage gone into Counter-Strike Global Offensive. That is quite absurd. <laughs> I do play a lot of Counter-Strike, so that makes sense. But also I don't know why I need that much footage just for Counter-Strike. All right, I'm gonna open that again. And as you can see, the top two pieces of footage are over five gigs in file size. That's unacceptable. <laughs> so what I can do here actually is if I wanna select both of them, I'll first select the first one and then hold shift and just select the second one. I could also just use my cursor and simply select the two. And now what I could do is right click and simply hit delete, boom. I just cleared over 10 gigs of space in one go. Great. Yeah, this is absurd. All right, so my strategy here is going to be deleting just really old footage that I know I'm never gonna look at. Another cool thing you could do here is add tabs to your program. So I will right click and I can add, for instance, the path of where all these files are. Now, what I specifically want though is the creation date. I'm going to sort by creation date going oldest to newest because I want to delete 
any footage from 2019. Like I don't want footage from 2019. Now I'm going to highlight everything in 2019. Now at the bottom, you can see that is nearly a hundred gigs. It's not needed. We'll right click, hit delete, just like that. We're done. Okay, so that's pretty cool. But what else can we do with this program? So far, we showcased that we can easily find large files, sort it by creation date and all kinds of other filters. But what else can we do with tree size? Now, tree size is very customizable, in my opinion. We could go over to the view tab and customize a lot here. So for instance, if we want to see our size based on gigabytes, megabytes, terabytes, we can do that. Additionally, we have the option to configure our columns from here. So here I've actually added the average file size, which I think is a pretty interesting statistic to have. For instance, I can see the average file size of all the files in my shadow play folder, 0.4 gigs. And that might not seem like a lot, but given the fact that I have over 1,500 pieces of footage here, that makes a lot of sense why this is taking up over 500 gigs of space. All right, now, in my opinion, one of the coolest features of this program is the tree map chart. So what we'll do is we'll click show a tree map. Now, right off the bat, there's a lot going on here, but that's only because I have a lot of these options ticked here. So I'm going to unselect them. So by default, your chart should look something like this. Essentially, we are seeing a hierarchical view of our drive in a chart format. And I think this is just a really good and simple way to visualize what's taking up all this space. And of course, we already knew from the start, our Counter-Strike Global Offensive folder was taking up a lot of space. Now your chart does change depending on the folder you have selected. So for instance, I will select Steam Library. And now, as you can see, we have a hierarchical view of our Steam Library folder, and we can see what folders within Steam Library are taking up most space. And if we wanted to, we could select our drive itself to get a full picture overview of where our storage is going. And I suppose I do have one last thing to show you here. If you do wanna get nitty gritty, I would say select these last two options here. We can show our chart in 3D, which doesn't make much of a change, but with that, we can now select show single files. Now with this view, we can see a much more detailed overview of what our folders actually contain. For instance, my footage folder has a video called test2.avi that's literally 67 gigs, which is absurd and also and also I have a, another one called poop.mp4, which is 17.5 gigs. So yeah, I have a bunch of random stuff that I didn't even know I had. And that's the great part about this tool is you discover things you didn't know you had on your computer and you can just wipe them out. So that concludes the video guys. If you did find this helpful or resourceful, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more, and also be sure to join my Discord. I am looking to build a community of like-minded people where we just help each other out and come up with cool and new projects. So if that's something you're interested in, then definitely consider joining my Discord. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.